Hey guys, welcome to the last vlog of 2023. I am so sick. So right after the ski trip, I started to feel it in my throat and slowly it just started to get worse and worse and worse. Thankfully, I feel like I can talk a little bit more now. But yeah, I was down for a few days out of service and now Polo is the one sick too. I hope everyone had beautiful holidays and no matter how they look like or who you spend them with, I just hope that everyone is resting and having a good time and hopefully that no one else is sick because every person that I talk to they tell me that they're also down with the flu so yeah I don't remember getting flu like this like after COVID like my memories of having the flu were like very mild but now this one hit me like a truck I also just wanted to sit down and just say thank you we reached 100,000 subscribers and this is quite unreal to me if I'm being very honest because I started posting on YouTube almost five years ago. It was 2018 and reaching 100,000 subscribers is like the milestone that you have always in your mind because it's when they send you the little plate and YouTube makes you feel like a little bit more official. So I don't know, it always seems something really far, far away and when the year started and I put it on my vision board, I remember saying that it was just for the good vibes, not because it was going to happen because I don't like to put like expectations like that on me also because it's quite out of my control i just have to say thank you to every single one of you to the ones that have been here since the beginning to the ones that subscribed recently a lot of things have changed throughout the years we're in different countries my content has also changed and honestly i'm just thankful from the bottom of my heart and kind of validates what I'm doing because of course I sometimes doubt if like I'm good enough or what I post is even entertaining or good or people like it and I don't know I just I guess I cannot believe it but this was only possible thanks to you guys so thank you so so much and I promise to the best that I can to keep up consistency to just make better content I really really try to never skip an upload I think I haven't skipped one in the last two years so I'll try to keep it up that way. But we have things to do. I just woke up, have the coffee. I don't know if you noticed, but we have a new coffee machine. We got it for Christmas and we have a few home updates, including a new chair that I'm really excited to show you. But today we're going out. I want to start with my skincare and get ready. I feel like when you're sick, you just don't put any makeup. You just don't get ready. You don't go out. And I feel like doing my skincare, putting some makeup on, coming back to life and going out. We also need to prepare the house because we have friends that are gonna come to visit and spend spend New Year's with us so I don't know how vlogging that is going to work like because vlogging when you have people staying in your house it's a little bit trickier but we're gonna have a dinner here at the house and then it seems like we're going partying so yeah I haven't gone like clubbing or partying in like a really really long time but yeah we also have a new bag that I want to style and start using today and just hang out so I'll just finish this and take you to the bathroom okay so I'm gonna do my skincare routine and I want to show you a package that I got a few weeks ago so I really like to try new skincare items products creams whatever I just see it as a me time so I'm going to show you how it comes in the gift set but this is a travel pouch so inside the travel pouch I have the creams and the device itself so this is the R3 turbo this is a skin tightening device and it has a lot of functions depending on what you want to approach. During my morning skincare routine, I really like to use the firming mode because that reduces that puffiness that you sometimes have in the mornings. Like I know that when I sleep and I sleep hard, I wake up so like puffy. And I've just been feeling that when I use this, it makes me look a little bit more with like a healthier complexion, and not that tired. It comes with a little sticker that will explain you the modes that you can use. You turn it on on this one and it's gonna vibrate a little bit. And with this, you can choose the mode you can see right here that it's going to change so when you have the full circle it's the full face anti-aging mode when you have the upper half of the circle it's the eye area so this is only for the eyes and then you have the lower half circle which is the complexion tightening like the contour mode that i like to use in the mornings i frown a lot since i was really young and i have lines here like nothing too bad but i definitely want to work on that more like prevention so it just doesn't get worse over time and it also comes with these little masks i actually enjoyed using these ones a lot so these ones are for the face and neck, which are the ones that help you contour, and the big ones are for the eyes. And you do have the bottom to control the intensity. I would recommend to start with the lowest one. Right now I'm starting to use it in the medium. It doesn't hurt, it just feels like little pulsations, if it makes sense. So today I'm gonna use the three modes. It's on and on the intensive eye care mode. Also to show it a little bit better without the mask, if you put the gel here, you can also apply it under your eyes. And it vibrates in order to tell you when to switch sides.
Now I want to show you the mode that helps you contour. This is probably my favorite one and the one that I've been noticing the most results because sometimes I do feel super puffy and this helps a lot with that. This one I do like to use it with a mask. It looks kind of funny but when you're done you can also leave it for a bit. So yeah this one looks a little bit funny but it's not uncomfortable. With this one you can feel like it tingles a little bit more. And the last one, it's the full face anti-aging mode. This is the one that I use the most often, especially during my nighttime routine. And I know that it looks a little bit complicated. Polo has seen me do it a few times and he's like, what on earth? But once you get used to it, it's very easy and very enjoyable. I don't know how to explain it, but it's nice. So we can chat while I finish this, but honestly, I'm really happy that we're all now a little bit more interested in skincare rather than only in makeup because I've always loved it. Since I was someone who was really prone to acne when I was really young and I I still get acne from time to time. I'm always trying new things and having my little routine I feel like I'm preventing maybe later in life needing something else. So yeah I just really enjoy it. But yeah this is where I want to focus the most because I need to stop doing that but I cannot control it. Like sometimes I just editing or reading and I'm like scrunching my face. So after this I'm gonna wash my face. I'll finish my morning skincare routine and I really want to show you the new Yorash Boubois. I feel like it's exactly what the living room needed. Right now I feel like it looks a little bit cramped because of the the Christmas tree but after Christmas when everything is stored it's just going to look so good so we're done I'm just gonna clean it and also wash my face but for anyone interested I'm gonna link it in the description box down below I believe right now they have a buy one get one free promotion in case anyone wants to take advantage of that and if you ask me I would get the gift box because it comes with absolutely everything it comes with the R3 turbo the travel pouch and all the eye mask and gears it's something that is a lot of fun to use also something to prevent or if you want to focus on certain areas it's becoming part of my routine and I really enjoy using it. Now I have a few spots that I want to focus on and do my makeup so I can feel a little bit more alive after being a potato for so many days. When I'm sick, besides my skincare, I just don't really care. I'm not ready, I'm not dressed yet. This is just like the outfit before the outfit, but we're gonna change. But I wanted to show you the house updates. Well, it's only two, to be honest. So that is our newest addition. I'm so, so in love with it. And I actually talked about this many times before, but I really wanted to get the individual version of this one. And this is it. Right now, I feel like it looks a little bit cramped with the Christmas tree. But once the Christmas tree is done, Masha's bed is gonna go there. And it will have like its proper space. But it has its little poof. And the other one is the coffee machine. So we actually put the Nespresso one in the office for now. And we got this one. It's the Longhi, the Magnifica Evo. This was a Christmas gift. And we love it. We now just need to change this. Because it's definitely not working out. This was uh, in the meantime. So for the past few days, I've been looking for a replacement. And I think I found it. I think I lost my coffee cup. So I'm just going to steal the one that Polo was using. I always do this and just lose them. And then I have to collect coffee cups around the house at the end of the day. So for anyone wondering the information about the couch. Because I get a lot of questions on the big one. The big one is the bubble sofa from roche -Bois, And I think it's the one for three seats. And this one is the individual chair. So it's not a sofa. It's more like... Like a chair and it actually turns which has been amazing because sometimes when i'm just like watching tv or reading i like to move a little bit and the little poof comes apart but we really want to get both of them i've been wanting it since the day that we got the big one so i'm actually really happy now we need to focus a little bit on other sections of the house for example the coffee stations so i've been looking online on this platform that is called wallapop that here in spain is really really big we don't really use facebook marketplace here that much so on wallapop you can find vintage furniture because i've gone to the vintage furniture stores like to thrift something because i don't want anything new i 100 percent want something vintage and i kind of want it to match to the credenza that i got from my grandmother so i've been browsing on wallapop for hours since christmas and i think i found it and it's so similar and my only issue right now is that it seems to be quite big and heavy and you need to go pick it up in person so i'm not really sure if it's gonna fit inside the car 
or we need to pay someone. Usually the prices for vintage furniture is not that bad and I think this one like it's a really really good price. So we're just trying to figure out the logistics of buying it and bringing it to the apartment. So I'm scheduling with the seller to go next week so we're probably gonna ask some friends when they get back here in Barcelona because all of our friends right now are like outside of the city. I've been kind of wanting to hang out and go like for dinner or just do something with friends but no one is really here but us. So we're waiting for someone to be here to help us a little bit because I definitely cannot even with a marble countertop that it has. It's going to be heavy so yeah I know that we need help. So we have for the food. He's gonna make an unboxing because we didn't unbox your things. No I don't think so. We have the belt and it's double side so you have like black and dark brown. So yeah, it's box and this is Epsom? Togo. Togo. So it's a dark chocolate Togo that you're not yeah. gonna be able to tell because of the light and this is um, box leather. So it's like more formal a little bit and then more casual. Yes. And, and the most important part. The buckle. No one can tell that it's illness. No, it's really nice. And it's in um, like champagne gold. Yeah, it's not like very shiny so it's okay. But we're gonna go we have to change it because it's a little bit long. Yeah, holes I need or a smaller belt or more holes on it. So we're gonna go to Hermes for that today. Yeah. And can you show them the other that I didn't show because it didn't get here in time. But Polo gifted me. Some AirPods Max. Oh, and show them the, the, the little dog. Here is Masha. Here. And they are very, very comfortable. Who has worn them more? Me or you? I think me. And who are they for? Me. <laughs> and if I click here, I don't listen to you anymore. So I got AirPods with Masha engraved on them. And hopefully this way you can see the belt a little bit better. So this is the Togo part in this like chocolate brown. And the other side is black box leather, my favorite. They had different buckles and I knew that he definitely didn't want the age. Paul is very hard to give to. I think he really liked this and you really like the coffee machine too. Now we're drinking even more coffee than before. <laughs> Gilmore Girls really did a little number on me. Oh, and let's show them our twin watches. We didn't do it in the last video. So this is the Panther there and yours is the tank must tank must so since we're both very sick he's a little bit pissed because i spread the flu to him but the last time that he got the flu he didn't spread it to me so who's the weak one now we're gonna order sushi to the house it got a little bit late to go out to eat because here if you don't eat by 2 30 like restaurants are closed good luck finding where you can sit we're gonna go after we eat the takeout to hermes to see what we can do to fix this and just walk around we haven't left the house much in the past couple of of days so i need some fresh air the sun to hit my face and just walk around and maybe we could go have dinner outside that would be actually really nice and then we need to prepare the house for morgan to arrive tomorrow we just need to make the guest bedroom and prepare everything for new year's dinner because friends are coming so we're gonna have like a not a big dinner but it's gonna be like bigger than usual so we'll wait for the takeout and i'll change what are your thoughts on the new chair? because you use it a lot really comfortable i'm gonna pretend that i'm not nervous that you're using dark pants on the brand yeah, new white Yeah, but they're sofa. old now, so it's like, they have been washed. Yeah, hoping so. Sha is taking her fourth nap of the morning, probably. Okay, so we're gonna pick the outfit of the day, and I want to base it on the new Kelly, that it's right here so in case anyone missed the unboxing this is my new baby it's a uh, vintage kelly 25 in parchment with gold hardware i got it from redelux and it's beautiful and today it's quite cold so we're gonna take out the burberry coat this is quite thick and i was thinking of pairing it with a white sweater and i'm not sure if i should go for brown for the pants or white i think i prefer to film her with the lights off so i think soon i'm actually gonna take the closet to the office and the office right here and i have a couple of of why I want to do that. So I feel like the office is way too big for what we use it for. It's also very cold, so when I'm editing, like, it doesn't feel cozy. This closet has very bad light, so it's also really bad for doing my makeup in the mornings. So I don't really get ready here anymore. I do it in the living room. And I mean, it's not that late, but you can already tell that it's quite dark in here, and it's always been sort of a problem. So I think if I take the closet to the office, and I have a bigger space where I can film a little bit more, I can get ready there. I can can even do my hair there probably because I hate doing it in the bathroom. I think I would have a better use for the space and here that it's a little bit darker and more cozy I can put some lights and with the bookshelves, rugs and little sofa the office could be like small and cozy. I don't feel like we need that much space so if we do that I'm definitely gonna film it because I love like house makeovers and that stuff but I just definitely need time. We're definitely gonna need help for that because we need to move all of this and the desk and the desk is very very heavy. So yeah that's gonna be a project for next year. 
here. I'm just gonna add my stuff to the bag and we can go out. My vlogging camera, my phone, wallet, and lip gloss. And I think we're good with that. Okay, so very warm outfit of the day. I'm wearing my vintage Burberry coat. This one is a bit oversized, but I really like it. Bag of the day is my Kelly in parchment. It's beautiful. He's sharing his outfit of the day. My new Burberry coat. We're matching. Handsome. That's Those are your new shit. sneakers? Yes. And where is your sweater from? Oh, put her off, Lauren. <laughs> Bag of the day? Yours. Changed and now it's your size. I don't want to open it. <laughs> you can wear it tomorrow. Because this one is very old. Yeah. yeah. So right now we're having some churros and water. I just asked for a glass of wine. I got a mini bottle. And also there's a bookstore very very close to here that I want to go and check if I can find anything that I can read for this weekend. Hey guys, we're home. I'm going to do a little book unboxing with Masha. She has been loving her camera time lately, but these are the books. So something that I like doing is like collecting pretty covers of books that I really like. You want to steal absolutely everything that I have. I ended up getting like this beautiful limited edition of Little Women and it has the pink pages. She literally wants to take them. What are you... What are you doing? No! And I found a quick read for this couple of days and it's The Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. I actually have never read this before so I'm really excited and it's going to be a short read. And the third book is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. This I haven't read before but it was like in the same section as Little Women, Jane Austen and that genre so I really like that this ones have the gold foil like here. So hoping that the next few days I have a little bit more time to read. I think right now I'm gonna take a bath and go to bed but i'll see you in the morning we need to get the house ready and plan the new year's dinner and what we're gonna do afterwards and receive guests so yeah see you then okay so we're on the way to the airport to pick our friend up it's quite nice to be in the car we haven't used it in what we got back from the Cayden. yeah thankfully it's quite of a short drive so we should be back home in a little bit after picking him up we're gonna go for some tacos and just spend the day much is going to be thrilled to have visitors she just loves every time that we have someone over at the house so we should be there in like five minutes or so there's absolutely no traffic it's one of we're in like that in between christmas and new years where nothing is going on and there's not really traffic so that's good Okay, so it's 5 p.m. I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is that everything is going well. Our friends are going to arrive at 8. So I have like three hours to get the house ready, 
pretty and to figure out what I'm going to wear I'm probably going to go with an all black outfit because casual glam but very cold but Soho they always have the heating on so I know that if I go with a sweater I'm gonna take the sweater off because I'm gonna be too hot so I'm trying to plan my outfit to be like good for walking on the street but also for enjoying myself inside and still looking pretty decent the bad news is that as I have been sick for a while I feel like tired because it just accumulated over the past couple of days so the party is going to be after 12 after the countdown and I'm already kind of like ready to take a bath and maybe go to bed and that's not the vibes that we're looking for so I don't know what I'm gonna do but I need to hype myself up especially because I haven't really gone partying a really really long time and I really want to enjoy this one and I need to decorate the table I think I'm gonna need to have another coffee I know that it's five but today I'm gonna need it to push through the day and the night and tomorrow like I think I'm the one with the lowest energy from everyone tonight and I don't want to hold people back so we're gonna see how that goes also I think a little bit of a factor that I still feel like this it's like I'm not sick anymore I don't feel bad like I don't have a headache I don't have like anything at all but I have this like remaining throat dryness that just makes me feel like itchy I don't know I just hope that I can hold on and keep it up tonight and believe me I know that I should be giving myself the grace that if I don't feel good I should just go to bed but I always do that I'm usually the first person to leave parties because I just really like my sleeping time and my social battery is not really really big so every time that it runs out I just I'm the first one out the door thankfully Polo is the same like we're on the same sense so yeah we'll see tonight I feel like this always happens to me every time that I have like something important I mean I'm not, I'm not saying that this is like super important but I'm always sick on the worst timings or something going on like I literally broke my finger the day that I was going to present my thesis like I always seem to be targeted by a series of unfortunate events when I need to be like on my top of the top but yeah so let's go and cook the mini pastries with the cheese and start cleaning the house a little bit because i have a little bit of a mess okay so i want to formally introduce to the vlog morgan hello my name is morgan i'm a polo's friend and also lucia and i come from france and also mexico and i'm here for new year's and today morgan is gonna do crepes and polo is doing um brie in brie puff, with pastry. puff pastry yes so Let's start cooking. <laughs> I'm gonna make a much needed coffee. I'm just going to wait for it to kick in a little bit and start cleaning up a little bit deeper and preparing the table. We're gonna put the fireplace, I need to put the Christmas playlist and then get ready. Yeah. <laughs> Top secret recipe. So we're just gonna put some little bits of brie cheese inside of each square and we're gonna make some little box. So this is the, well, not finished version, but we have to wait to put it on the open. Okay, so I'm not gonna put on my party outfit to be here on the house like for such a long time because it's this sequence jumpsuit that is definitely not the most comfortable. So I'm gonna do my makeup and after dinner, I'm just gonna change. I'm basically gonna wear this silver jumper with my Isabel Morin boots, a black blazer and the Lady D Joy in the silver. So it's going to be like a silver matchy matchy outfit. So they're gonna be here in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna finish my makeup and finish the crepes and finish the curtain too. Turn off your phone and off your mind Look at you so bright Mom, you 
so upset, she can be a. Oh, I'll take you.